in. So, I mean, cropping is the easiest thing to do, right? Just click on crop and choose your size. Then I am going to brushes and choosing our glitter brush. So what I'm going to do is put the size down and start creating outlines. So what you're going to do is going to basically go and draw in some outlines on the outfit, on her shoes, on the tennis racket. So easy to do, like literally, you're just drawing outlines. You can put the size a bit down, the size a bit up, depending on how you want the glitters to look on your photo. And then I'm going to choose the other color, the gold color glitter, so that it goes with her shoes. And then back with the silver to create the swoosh. And then go to the other shoe and do the same. I feel like the laces should have some glitter too, so I'm gonna give that glitter. Okay, now that we're done with the outlining, I'm gonna go to stickers and search for glitter lines. A user created this really cool um, spiral glitter line, which really made me think that this is so perfectly done that I don't even have to do it with the brush, I can just use this sticker. So all you're gonna do is place it and then go with the brush and I'm going to choose the portrait selector so that the sticker would go behind the girl and apply oh so pretty so aesthetically pleasing I love how this turned out The second outline I'm going to show you is Double Trouble. That's what I'm calling it. So I want this photo to be black and white. So I'm going to click um, on a black and white filter. I'm just steaming through our filters. I know we have really cool black and white filters. Then go back to our filters and choose our sketch filters. So we have double sketch, which is sketch number three. And I'm gonna click on that. 
And then it's gonna give me double sketch outlines. One tap, you get double sketch outlines. Then I'm gonna use the horizontal and vertical sliders so that I can make them go a little bit further from each other and up and down. And then if you're happy with how it stands. Then I am going to use the eraser tool to erase any parts that I don't like to be on the girl's image. So cute. Then um, I'm gonna go to stickers and search for dust. So this is gonna give me um, the black squares which has like dusty effects on them. I want to choose one of them and place it on top of the skirt. So once you find it, just place it, scale it, and then choose the blending mode. Try to blend it in until you get your desired look. Then. Um, I'm gonna put the opacity a bit down because it's a bit harsh and I want it to be as smooth as possible. And done! I love how this turned out. Okay, for this little lady, we are going to create a cool, cool, cool outline look. But I want to give her a filter first. I want her edit to be a little bit saturated. Ooh, this is so cool. Okay, apply. Then I'm going to go back to filters and use again sketch this time I'm gonna use sketch 2 and as you can see it's gonna give you a full outline and plain background then I'm going to use the eraser tool put the hardness up and put the size up I'm gonna erase the whole thing that I just did sad isn't it not really guys I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen here then with our brush, I'm going to put the size a bit down and then do a swipe. Ooh. I don't like that. Again. Again. One more time. Put the size up and shoot, shoot, shoot. Perfect. And apply. And then I'm going to change the color of the outline to a yellowish tone. I'm going to use the color chooser to get the color of her outfit so that the outline matches her shirt. Oh, so stinking cute. And then, um, back to filters and nose. I 
love noise. And that's it, you guys, we're done. This is such a, such a, such a cool way to do an outline because it gives you this whole brush effect. So as you all know, neon is so in, and we're going to create a neon outline. I'm going to crop it so that she's zoomed in, and then go to brushes, and use our neon brushes. I'm going to select the color I want, um, try it first, I like it, I'm going to use it. So what I'm going to do here is just create outlines like we did with the first photo. Same thing with the jeans, just choose your color and then start creating the outline. Okay, once you're done with that, I am going to go to filters and apply a filter that I like. And done. See guys, this takes like zero effort. I mean, so cute. Okay, last but not least, I am going to show you the most basic outline tutorial you'll ever see. I am going to sketch effects. 
and using Sketch 1. One tap, outline, sketch effect. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Just position it and then get the eraser tool. And I am going to erase half of his head. So I'm just getting it to be perfectly by his chin and then erasing half of the eye and then some of his hair. Okay, then I'm gonna go to max and give him a light mask and put the opacity down. This is so cool because it gives you like this lens flare, well not lens flare, but like light flare. I'm just going to use a filter as usual and then we're done. I just showed you five different ways you could do outline edits on PixArt in just a few steps. Literally, even sketch was only one step. I just added a little bit of stuff in the end. Subscribe to our channel and let me know what you guys want to see next week. Bye!